Hey guys, what's up? It is Sunday, September 10th. Um, I just want to, I haven't vlogged this whole weekend because honestly, I didn't do anything this weekend. I wasn't feeling good all weekend, but I think I nipped it in the bud before I got worse. But I did want to show you guys, uh, I did want to show you guys what I meal prepped for the week. Since you guys want to get more ideas uh, for like prepping than... I figured I would just show you guys what I made. So basically what I made for the next two days is I made, you guys can see, um, vegan grilled, vegan stuffed bell peppers. And then this just has like lettuce and broccoli and I'll probably add avocado to it. Um, and like some vinaigrette seasoning or something like that. But basically this bell pepper, all it has is I think it's like a tofu based beef, ground beef. I put garlic, onions in it. I usually put ground cauliflower, but I'm out of that right now. And then I just put a uh, Daya cheese, which is a vegan cheese. And that's pretty much it. It's super easy to make, grow on a budget. You know how we do. Then for a snack, um, throughout the day, and I probably want this at once, I'll probably split it into two days, is I um, basically grilled some edamame, and I just put some garlic powder and onion powder in it. Super simple, literally five minutes to make. Everything is so easy to make. Like, I don't like to put in a lot of effort when it comes to food. I'm actually extremely, extremely lazy when it comes to food. So I just try to find like easy recipes and things that are gonna have a lot of flavor to it. Oh, and I'll show you guys what I used. Okay. So for the um, stuffed bell peppers, I use Gardein's and this is the ultimate beefless ground beef. And I just use chicken taco seasoning. Um, you can use whatever you want. I put some garlic powder, onion powder in it, and I put some cayenne pepper just to add a kick of it. Chopped up a lot of onions, put some garlic in it, and then I added Daya cheese. So uh, that was super easy to make. And it's gonna be so good. I'll definitely add some avocado with it. I love avocado. I try not to eat too much avocado, but I love avocado. Like I'm always gonna have half of a half avocado a day probably and then for snacks like i usually bring a banana an apple strawberries whatever i have so tomorrow i'm just gonna pretty much chop up some i'm gonna have an apple chop it up i might eat it by itself or i might add it with some peanut butter i'll use that for a snack and then we have some of the edamame and then for dinner i don't know what the hell i'm gonna have for dinner i'll probably have like a salad or something like that so yeah, I'm just trying to be on the grind this week. Oh, I'm so exhausted. I literally slept so much this weekend. I was just so under the weather. I was supposed to film. I didn't film. So I'm going to try to vlog a few days to have a video up this week and have something up for you guys because I really want to try to get on a consistent page. Tomorrow is 9-11. Usually what I like to do since this is going to be my third year obviously third year in new york i go up to the waterfronts in uh, jersey city and it's an exchange place and they have these lights and i hope i'm able to get this on camera but they have these lights where the twin towers were and they pay tribute to them a lot of people go there so i'm probably gonna go there tonight i mean tomorrow night with my friend it's also my co-worker's birthday. Her name is Katie. Katie, if you ever watch this video, happy early birthday. This is the 10th, but your birthday is tomorrow. And I feel so bad because I didn't even go out for her birthday, you guys. I was just like dying. I, I, I still have body aches right now. But luckily, I've been taking medication this week. And <laughs> I've been sleeping so much that I think I got it under control. So yeah, I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow. So I'll just take you guys along. So at least I'll have some footage try to get this to be like at least six to eight minutes of a vlog something for you guys but other than that it's pretty much it oh my god you guys so i just changed my nail shape i hope you guys can see this back to square i don't know how i feel about it i had coffin before 
but oh yeah i'm breaking out <sighs> I, I don't even know i just i don't know what's going on with my skin i've just been breaking out so much lately sorry you guys okay so yeah so i changed my nail shape to square again and i don't know how i feel about it I had coffin before, but I just wanted to change it up. I got a whole brand new set. I took off the set that I had before. And if you guys want to know the color, I honestly have no idea. It's a gel color, so I'm so sorry. It's just like a really light nudie pink. It's my go-to. I do the same thing every single time. I can't even hold this camera. Like you guys, I'm telling you, my body is just like so exhausted. I just, I don't know. It, it's just been, it's been a rough weekend for me. So yeah, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off because it's already literally eight minutes of footage of me talking and it's really boring. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I'm going to check out tonight. Um, I'm going to try to go to sleep because I got to wake up early in the morning because I'm going to surprise my coworker and decorate her desk and put some goodies on her desk. I want her to be surprised tomorrow. I'm so excited for her. Um, yeah, so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. We are walking and moving and Ooh, grooving. Nah, I look really light on camera right now. For what? Excuse me? Can you play Justin Bieber, please? Can you take requests? <laughs> we are walking and moving and grooving. It is Monday, September 11th. We are going on a beautiful walk tonight. How much do we walk? About 7.5 miles? Ish. Ish. And we wanted to go pay our tribute. Wait, is that what it is? We want to pay tribute to the World Trade? We want to pay our respect. We wanted to pay, oh I'm blurry. We wanted to pay our respect to the World Trade. So there's going to be two different areas that we are going to go visit. So. We just want to take you guys along. Ain't that right, Kenny? <laughs> He's camera shy, everybody. That. Right there. Oh, my finger. That right there is the world trait, everyone. You're going to get close. Further. Where they have the light up. Still not all of Got all of here. a bunch of uh, helicopters patrolling the area. Sorry if it's a lot of movement, you guys. It's beautiful. It's just a city. morning everyone <laughs> another Sunday fun day with your girl Alba Navarro I'm just kidding it's about nine ish I think it's before 9 30 and Flo has arrived so I'm not feeling too shabby about that and um I'm looking a hot ass mess <laughs> I'm going to make an acai bowl for breakfast if you guys haven't heard of it I'll put a picture over here or over here. But I'm making my own today. That's what I'm gonna have for breakfast. I'm thinking I'm gonna go on a walk tonight, possibly same walk that you might see on the clip prior. It's about a 6.5 mile walk. <sighs> because um, I don't know if I can make it to the gym today. 
and I still want to be active and I'm probably gonna work out here at home I have some weights that I work out so I'll probably do like squats some leg workouts push-ups arms sit-ups crunches I don't know if you guys heard that hip thrusts all that stuff I'll probably do a little bit of all that stuff um, right now Is, uh, we're looking like I'm wearing a sports bra these pants <laughs> I have cankles by the way I'm aware so um, the girl's a little bloated yeah she ain't got no booty but uh, that's okay <sighs> we got work to do son work 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 it's actually really funny because well um the sports bra that i'm wearing right now it's really big on me i'm wearing a bra underneath it but um oh my god hold on let me see it's like fall this is like so big on me now you guys like i don't even know if you can tell but anyways this is like super big so if i pull it up right this used to be like tight on me or fit perfect. Now there's a lot of space. So I would have to pull some of that in the back and tie it. But I love the sports bra. It's in my first before picture back in January when I took my first picture. Oh great, I don't have fucking mats. Mm, that's what I hate about having fruit. If you get these little mats, I have two of them. I had one yesterday. We're gonna make um we're gonna make an acai bowl today. Good morning. <laughs> okay, so I've already frozen some fruit. So in here I have three strawberries, pineapple spear. We are going to use a banana and half of it I'm gonna use in the smoothie part and then half of it I'm gonna cut up and put it on top of the acai bowl I should have frozen this last night because I actually tried making acai bowl the other day and I put ice in it and the fruit was fresh and um, the texture of it was too liquidy like the consistency wasn't thick enough this is funny because this is proclaimed to be an organic banana and if you know me, I get really weirded out when fruits are oversized. I don't know why. I just feel like when a fruit is oversized, I feel like it's injected with things that I don't need in my body. But it says it's organic. I ordered organic. It even has an organic label. See? Organic. More like organic. <laughs> Gigantic. But anyways, we're gonna use that. So we're gonna use a pineapple, strawberries, banana. I was gonna put an apple in it, half of an apple in it, but I think I'm just gonna do these three, these three ingredients today. And then I'll put some almond milk in it. Oh, maybe I should do a matcha drink. Hmm. Dang it. If I had a matcha drink with some toast, that would be really good too. Anyways, we're making an acai bowl today. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Then on top of the acai bowl, like for the fruit, for the layered part, I'm gonna put banana. We are going to use some organic flax chia seed blends. Flax seed's really good for you. Chia seed's really good for you. It has a lot of fiber. Um, it says three grams of omega minus three s i don't know what that means but i know it's good for you so i'm not gonna complain and then i'm also gonna put some of this cast canadian farm organic oats and honey granola and then i'll layer probably a strawberry and some blueberries on top of it it does obviously if you're using a lot of fruits clearly there's a lot of sugar in that but we're eating it first thing in the morning and um that's what we gonna do. I'm gonna measure this banana because to get our calorie count from this. Just measured the banana, 5.247 ounces. 
let's put this part in there. Three frozen strawberries and then a pineapple spear. So, banana, strawberries, pineapple spear. Then I'm going to put some silk light almond milk, 60 calories. Gonna add some fiber powder. I was gonna do protein powder, honestly, you guys, but I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared, I'm not gonna lie. So I think I'm just gonna do it just like that. And I think I wanna put some ice in here as well. Another tip too is that when you're um, blending this on your Nutribullet or whatever you may have, don't do it too long. Like, you want the consistency to be somewhat thick. That's what she said. <laughs> now, put it in here. And then we go. So now you have this type of consistency. Nice and thick. Yes. Yeah. Added some granola. Acai bowl. Vegan, delicious, nutritious breakfast. And it would be so good. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited to eat this. You don't even know. Your girl's about to go in it. She's about to murder that acai bowl. Look at that. That looks so good. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Let's try this. I mean, we're doing a taste test, but come on. It's free. It's not gonna be nasty. Mmm, in the spot, man. Um, breakfast is finished. It was good. Usually there is always a leftover smoothie in here that I never finish. I just can't, I'm so full right now. Like, acai bowls are so filling. Dude, I swear to God, there's this gnat flying around and I know it's from the bananas and it's driving me crazy and I can't get it. I'm gonna get that little sucker though, I'm gonna get it. Now I'm just gonna chug a bottle of water and um, then get my day started. I need to do laundry. Sundays are now my laundry days. I used to do laundries on Saturdays, but Sundays are now my laundry days because the girl that manages, well, there's this family that manages the laundry mat and the lady's daughter, she's like around my age. She always works on Sundays. So I like to go chat with her on Sundays. So now instead of Saturdays, I go on Sundays just to go visit her. I really kind of want to go to the gym. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might not even do anything today. Aunt Flo is here and um, I'm hurt. And I usually don't like working out when I'm on Aunt Flo, but I force myself. So anyways, uh, I don't have anything else. Hey guys. So back to the vlog. Um, I just finished filming my first impressions video. It's still Sunday. And I did this like half ponytail, you guys. This was like my look in middle school. Like literally probably fifth through eighth grade. This is my hair look. I always wore a half up, half down ponytail. And yeah, it's so funny. It just brings me back to when I was in middle school because I used to wear this all the time, minus the makeup. But yeah. Anyways, I just finished filming the video. Um, I don't know if my vlog's gonna be up first or after. I'm pretty sure my vlog will be up after. But I tried the Fenty Beauty foundation and it's a high. Like, I think it's just, just it's too hyped up. That's just my personal opinion. Um, I'm still gonna keep it. <laughs> I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna keep it unless it fails me in some way, one way or another. Um, it actually really reminds me of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation. Um, I don't know, I feel like the finishes are very, very similar except I'm pretty sure that the longevity on this one is a lot longer than the Wet n Wild. I just personally noticed with the Wet n Wild, the after like four to six hours, my foundation starts to break up and diminish and I'll have to reapply with some powder, which typically I don't even do that anyways. I'm just like, whatever, I don't care. I ain't trying to impress nobody. <laughs> but I'm sure this one is gonna last a lot longer, so I am gonna keep it. It's only, what, 32, 34 bucks 
for a Sephora, uh, Sephora store foundation, like the retail with the foundations that are sold there. This is actually pretty inexpensive. So with the price point, I'm definitely impressed. I highly suggest that if you have normal to oily skin or even oily skin, you would probably love this foundation. But for anyone who has drier skin or uh, dry to normal skin, I don't know. Um, I have more dry to normal skin and I don't know if it's these lights, but I feel like you could still see texture on my skin. Like I could still see that I'm wearing the foundation and from the reviews, they supposedly say, oh, it's super flawless, it's airbrushed, it looks like my skin, but I can see, um, I can definitely see that I'm still wearing foundation. And I did like two pumps on this side and this side just because one side I was trying on with the beauty blender and the other side I was trying on with the brush and i don't know it was just like it's cool I, I that's just my honest opinion you guys you guys you guys know i don't lie to kick it i keep it one handy so um that was my thoughts with that i just finished filming that i think i might film a couple of other videos i don't know exactly yet what's today today's the 17th um i have to figure out i, I should probably film some type of weight loss video since you guys really are interested in those and then i don't know what else i, I was thinking about monthly favorites but we're too much in the middle of the month for me to even film that because i'm still trying some products out so yeah i just wanted to check in with you guys and i don't know if this is going to be the last clip of the vlog but if it is uh thank you for staying and watching the whole vlog and i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and give it a thumbs up um, comment down below you guys already know that if you're new to my channel what's up i hope you subscribe and join the family and also make sure to click that bell button below to be notified of my videos i don't think i have anything else to say but i will catch you guys in the next one bye